My son, my oldest boy, we were working late one night. We were wrapping up around, um, it's probably around 12 o'clock. Printing business is crazy. You have deadlines. You, you got to keep them. And it was around midnight, and we were grabbing a glass of milk and a sandwich. And, and he was talking about his love of this country. And he pointed down to the square tile that he was standing on. He said to me, he said, Dad, my life for this, for this piece of ground. And the thing is, I knew he meant it. We are all tired. We have all had enough of this government and its bullshit. I'll, I'll get it later, of its bullshit. <laughs> and we need to make a commitment we need to say that we are willing to stand on that wall, that together with one voice, a unity, together that, that we can actually do something. Now I know every one of you are here, you are, you are a patriot, you are here. You, some of you have traveled a long distance, you don't have to do this. You do not have to do this, but if you feel it in your heart, that you feel like you have to do something, that you want to do something, that you want to make a statement, that, that you want people to see that you are serious in your commitment to, to changing this government, to bringing it back to what the Founding Fathers really intended for us. If you feel that, then have the courage, stand up, say you're a patriot, and come on up and join us. the commitment we're making we're speaking with one voice come on up it's okay take your time I'll just ramble on for a couple more minutes but make make this statement and, and again you don't don't feel obligated to come up please just if this is this is something personal take your time This, this is fine. Down here is great. Oh, yeah. <laughs> God bless you people. A little lower. I'm just trying to be a father. He's a daughter of this son. He gave love her to their mother. This is what we have to have. We have to have. God bless you. We, you got five more on me. <laughs> God bless you. We have to make Sean Hannity, Laura Ingram. We have to make them realize we are Americans. We are patriots. We are on this wall. We are willing to defend this wall, and like our founding fathers. We will pledge all that we have, all that we will ever be, our, our belongings, our fortunes, and our lives to this country. But we need help. I feel like I'm at some kind of telephone. <laughs> we have to unite as a party, not a Democratic, not a Republican party, but a Patriot party. March on Washington sometime this spring, and let's scare the hell out of the politicians. God bless America. Woo!